Yo guys, it is Vamp. I'm back with another YouTube video for today, and today we're going to be talking about TwitchCon, because this thing seemed pretty insane. A lot of stuff happened, some good stuff, some bad stuff, but we're just going to talk about all of it. Here we go. So, the first story is about Adriana Chechik. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I probably did. I don't know. Who knows? But she's a streamer, and she was obviously at TwitchCon, and they had this little thing going down where you, like, hit each other with these little pool noodles or whatever and try to hit each other into foam pits. You probably know what I'm talking about. But she jumped into the foam pit, you know, the thing that was supposed to be, like, a big, soft foam pit, and broke her back. Here it is. Oh, she just won right here. She jumps off. Boom. Oh, my God. So as you can see, they're like, are you good? Are you good? And she's like, nah, bro, I'm not good. Like, she's not chilling. Look at how thin that thing is. There are no cubes in there, dude. So now Adriana has to get extensive back surgery because Twitch couldn't put more stupid cubes more foam cubes, like, put, like, at least a couple more. Like, there were none in there, and what, there's just concrete on the bottom? Like, they didn't even put stupid padding on the bottom at all? Like, put an air mattress or something? Dude, I don't know. I have no idea, but figure it out. Like, don't just make them land on brick. So this next story comes from Hassan. He's a political streamer, and apparently some, like, conservative, weird, other political streamer guy invited Hassan to a boxing match or challenged him to a boxing match, said like, oh, you're scared to fight me, whatever. And some guy came up to Hassan at TwitchCon and asked him if he would fight this guy, and here's what happened. Thank you. Uh, are you ever going to accept Sam Hyde's fight offer? What? I don't... Dude, no. Why, why are you fucking talking to me about some dumbass fucking weirdo Nazi? What's wrong with you? And you're going to come to me and be like, yeah, it's so funny. Yeah, it's not funny, is it? Do you, you like that? Do you, you think it's funny? I think would it's like funny. to Go see ahead. the fight between explain. you two. Yeah. There's no explaining. I don't want to be around these fucking losers, and you should probably conduct yourself a little bit better. So, there's a lot to unpack with this one. I really don't know who this guy is that is challenging Hassan, and I don't really care. I feel like Hassan may have overreacted a little bit here. In my opinion, just ignore the guy. I don't know. Just ignore the guy. Move on. But, I mean, you know, if it's been festering for a while... I guess I kind of get it. It is what it is. Context would be nice here, but man, that was kind of crazy. This next clip is of a Twitch staff member kind of being confronted about Twitch possibly picking favorites with their terms of service, which they definitely do, by the way, but let's just watch the clip. But I think the community would be interested to hear more about how Twitch gives one streamer a long suspension, but not another who does the same thing. Uh, how does it seem like Twitch applies the rules unfairly? Yeah, again, more myths busted. Boom! Myth busted! There we go. That's it, guys. Um, They just don't do the rules unfairly. Yeah, they just don't pick favorites. Uh, there you go. Myth busted. Uh, so we apply our rules very consistently. All right. No hate to this woman in particular because I'm sure she's fine. She just works at Twitch. You know, it is what it is. But they do not apply their rules consistently. They just don't. There are so many examples of them not applying the rules consistently. I could literally write a book about it. It is such a corrupt system. I mean, just look at what Pokimane has done. Look at the Gideon situation. Look at the person who literally did it on live and got a seven-day ban and now they're back to streaming. I mean, dude, it's not consistent. It's very simple. And so there are frameworks that use things like how much harm did this cause or how many times has a streamer did it? I think what she meant to say is how much harm does this cause to Pokimane, XQC, or Hassan and not anyone else. If it's anyone else, it doesn't really matter. They just got to protect their big streamers, bro. Their top 0.1% pretty much. I don't know, man. It's just very clear if you've been watching Twitch for a long time, you can tell that the terms of service are inconsistent and they do pick favorites. It's just that simple. The next clip is from the Dream SMP panel, and I'm not like a Dream SMP hater or whatever, but I just need to let this next clip speak for itself, dude. <laughs> I like how we're just passing around the mic. Like...
Next question. I do not know the context of this situation, but I actually think that makes it better. And I also love how Dream, the captain leader person of the Dream SMP, didn't get his own chair. He's just cast off to the side. The man just face revealed to like 30 million people. And he's just cast off to the side. They just didn't get him a chair. Get the man a chair. How? How, bro? He's like the leader of the SMP. It's like named after him, man. Do you like my shirt? So this Dream SMP fan just asked, do you like my shirt? And I may have to warn you, you might need the eye bleach for this one because it's absolutely disgusting. This was the shirt in question. So yeah, this is the monstrosity that this person decided to wear in public. If you can't tell what's happening there, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. You don't want to know. But it's absolutely disgusting, and it's moments like these that I kind of do feel a tiny bit bad for content creators just in general. Luckily, these guys are all making millions of dollars, so, you know, I don't feel that bad. But if you're, like, a smaller content creator and you got to deal with people making stuff like this, bro, I don't even know. I'd be like, I'm done. I quit, bro. I don't know how they do it. So, yeah, that just about does it for the uh, Twitch recap. It was kind of insane, but it was probably also kind of fun. I don't know. It probably wasn't as bad as it looked. But yeah, that just about does it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.